Well, I just okay. thought you flew up into space. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're back. We're back. I, I actually thought Angus just flew up into space. <laughs> This game, this the game. The C stick is, is a powerful, a powerful thing <laughs> in video games. Yeah. Anyway, um, moving on. <laughs> we, were <talk> <laughs> we were talking about um, the fact that Angus doesn't know where he's fucking going. <laughs> Shut up. I, I do know I'm going. Hey, dude, you can actually get a chow egg in the river here. Oh, really? Yeah, That'd be cool if, 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 we, we... if we were actually doing anything with this game. <laughs> I know, like, your other save file is, like, pretty much completed, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. got all the characters and let's stuff. Let's just fucking speedrun Sonic's campaign. And... Yeah, can, let's do that. Let's do it. You can do all the hub world really shit, exciting yeah, yeah, bits, yeah, yeah. and I'll do the mundane horror I prefer horror doing that shit because, like, I can do this stuff. <laughs> and, like, I actually prefer the exploration part of this game, which I like more as a kid, like, going around talking to NPCs and stuff, you know? That, that's actually... I'm glad you brought that up because, um... It's it, okay. So there's an argument going around at the moment, and it's not. You know what? It's not just a. It's not just a point that's um, relevant to the Sonic franchise. Can I stop you right there and just tell me where the where I'm supposed to go? Am I going back on the train? Um, you wanna go? Where do you go? Yeah, go in the train. Go in the train. Because okay. I think the next level is the casino level. Okay. Which is actually a ball lake. But whatever. I remember. We're here for the long run now. Go on. Uh, I was gonna make a point, point because you know how we were talking about before we recorded. Um, we were talking about how. Do you know where the casino is, Andrew? Yeah, yeah. Sweet. I actually, I actually think I do remember where it is. Um, yeah, we were talking about how in Mario games nowadays they seem to be playing it very safe. Yeah. And that they're using tropes and ideas that have been established like 20 years ago, and they're nothing new. Yeah, it's and ironic because Mario was like a um, really in innovative, right? I That's can't. I can't move. Hello, we're back! <laughs> Angus just killed the game by <laughs> collision detection, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it seems whenever you pick up this game, it doesn't Yeah, work. no, it doesn't work for me. I also went to not nowhere near the You want to go down the manhole? Well. You want to yeah. go down the oh, manhole? Oh, is it actually manhole? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, dude, you just got ran over. Uh, Sonic is invincible in this game. Do you remember what to do here? <sighs> no. Okay, well, you'll figure it out. Uh, what were you, what were you... So, no, but I think the same thing exists with Sonic, right? I think Sonic is a tired concept at the moment. It's been done to death. Yeah. Like, a lot of people say that, a lot of the fans are complaining that, there you go, you got the magic boots. Sweet. The, uh, I think they're called the light speed boots. Something like that. No, yeah, they allow you to do the light speed dash. Um, are we still talking on the show? Uh, we had a, uh, technical, technical, technical problems, uh, blame, blame... Blame Angus, I guess. Um, you can pick up the egg, you know. Yeah, but if you pick up the egg, I guess you can't leave the shop. Because that would be stealing. And that's no oh good! Oh my god! <laughs> that, that's a flashback to the past, I remember that happening. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, I remember that happening. And but also, anyway. interesting, interesting as well, uh, if you talk to this guy, because we came through the back entrance, he's like, oh, who is the back door? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that bit. Anyway, I was making we a point before the screen went black and Isaac destroyed the game. And Angus. Angus destroyed the game. Um, I think Mario got to a point where they kind of got Sonic got there first. They ran out. Sega ran out of ideas. It's a tired concept. Um, they didn't really know what to do. And I think Sonic Adventure Two is the last bastion of like originality for the Sonic franchise. In my opinion. In my opinion, right? I and for Mario, I think it's after Galaxy Two. So you've got 3D World and 3D Land. I think 3D Land's the one on the 3DS. Because from what I hear, I haven't played it, but it's just it, it's just all stuff that has been done before. Right. Nothing original. I I think. This is the crystal. I think I think I don't know. I think that's just to do with the companies. I think. Fair enough. I think Nintendo have always been a bit more on it than Sega. Oh yeah, no, I uh, agree. I agree with that. And I think when this game was made, Sega were at the same level. That Do you not think were. this game is innovative? I think it's pretty innovative. Oh no, no, no that's, not, that's what I'm saying. When this game is made, that uh, Sega and Nintendo are kind of on par with one another. More or less, yeah. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. I, I, uh, I think but, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, the, the point I was going to make is they can still make a lot of pe a lot of Sonic fans are complaining that they can't make a, a Sonic a good Sonic game anymore. That's absolute bullshit. There has been really good like uh, Sonic games, but they've just been they've been like. There's been something stapled to it that doesn't need to be there. The werehog, a sword, a gun, 
Like, yeah. to me, Sonic Team just need to do different things, and that's yeah. fine. They just need to make different games. I like, think I the, hear that the difference is like with, with Nintendo. I don't know. This this might be a this isn't entirely issue maybe recently, but Nintendo have the kind of like stereo. I don't know if you want to call it a stereotype or kind of like the image of like when things when they have to do things differently. Yeah. They just think out of the box. Tend, they tend tend to do. That's true. Whereas Sega yeah. do the complete opposite. Yeah. And they just go, what's popular at the moment? Werewolves. Okay. What right. the kids like? Yeah. And <laughs> and and I just think Sega really just tend to tend to be more of a less imaginative company. You know, and and this is coming from somebody who doesn't really like Nintendo a whole lot. Interesting. Anymore, yeah. anyway. It. I I agree. I agree. But I think the Japanese division of Sega is very creative. I mean, look at some of the games that they've put out. We were just talking about Choo Choo Rocket. Yeah. It's one of my favourite puzzle games of all time. Like it's so fucking addictive. Can we, can we just wait there that, for a second? What the fuck is going on? It's pinball is a staple of the Sonic franchise. Annoyingly, I fucking hate pinball. You were just complaining about. Fucking Super Mario Sunshine, Pachinko yeah. uh, but, level, and now, <laughs> but but Penball Sonic is fine. We, I've Not been like playing essentially exactly the same. I feel like this game. deserves an explanation. Um, I've been playing Super Mario Sunshine in my spare time just to see, like, because a lot of people say it's the worst Mario game. Um, Angus has I don't know, like a kind of. I love Super Mario. Sunshine. It's my, my favorite Mario game, but it's it's, it's oh probably ba mainly based on nostalgia. And the fact that I'm not a massive Mario fan. Okay, well, it's Galaxy and, and Galaxy 2 are, are, like, superior. Like, Sunshine, not a bad game, but there are certain points in it where you just want to throw your controller out the window. It's the absolutely is, ridiculous. I don't know, I, I kind of grew up with games like that, so I guess, that for me, it's not so much of a problem. Okay. Most of the games, like, like as I was saying, Isaac Majora's Mask, we were talking about it. I'm that's a game that he... Free yeah, I don't know. Uh, um, that's a game that he was saying where he frequently felt like there were just sections of the game where it was just like, what's the fucking point sort of thing, like, yeah. just getting angry with it. And I grew up with a lot of games like that, so, uh, but, I don't know, maybe it's just, uh, anyway. I tend to think that um, if a game is putting you in a bad mood, stop. <laughs> that's this is it. the thing, I saw a really interesting interview with the guy, you know, Grave. You yeah, know, oh yeah, I love, I love that game. The guy, uh, oh, the guy who made that game, I can't remember his name, uh, is this European dude who made the game. And he was basically saying that, uh, like, game developers nowadays seem to be trying to make games that are fun, that are enjoyable to play. Right, Which yeah. is what a lot of people would imagine is what the whole purpose of games is, to be enjoyable and fun. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. Why wouldn't they be? But what he was saying was that actually a lot of the enjoyment of playing games comes from the challenge. Right. And, like, having something very difficult and overcoming it, you know? Uh, or something on your skill level that is hard, and you overcoming the overcoming that, and 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 that's really what makes games fun. Which is an example of why, like, I mean, like a lot of games that have been made recently. Oh, I say a lot of the games that have been popular, maybe not recently, but like, especially between about 2005 and 2010, and yeah. 12. Games like Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, which have kind of centered more about the enjoyment of the game rather than any real challenge. You know, they became the most popular games of those times, and now the games that are becoming, that are getting a lot more exposure, are games like Dark Souls, that are games that really it's all about the challenge of the game. Yeah, yeah. You know, well that game is is a, is a fucking endurance test to say the least. Um, yeah, and, and endurance of mind. But that's the, what I'm saying is like, people love those games, and I think it's because they are hard and they give you a challenge. Yeah. And because of that, you know, uh, they they are uh, they're popular. They 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 kind of uh, appeal to that kind of nature. And I think there is a different yeah. kind of gamer types, and one of the game types is game people who like to enjoy games. Yeah, sorry. And then there's people who like to, uh, to to have a challenge, you know? There's also people who like to creepily watch Sonic have a shower. Hey, I think that, that applies to everyone, let's be honest. Next time on Matt K Plays, we'll learn more about Angus's uh, voyeurism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sonic. <laughs> I just want to point out right now I'm not a fucking furry. Like, well, all power to you if you are, but I, <laughs> I have no interest in Tails. Tails is Tails seems to be the most interested <laughs> in what's going on in this chat. But let's be honest, dear. <laughs> See you later next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.